Arnie has arrived, our, our sloth, first time we had a sloth in a long, long, long time. Uh, Two-toed sloth is here at the zoo and uh, everybody's loving him. The kids are going crazy in the discovery barn. I love having Arnie here, just, uh, just to see the kids, uh, the expressions and the yelling and screaming that's going on in there this morning, it's, it's great. And that's, that's what's rewarding for us here at the zoo. You know, it's an animal that uh, doesn't do a whole lot. They sleep 15, 16 hours a day, and that's always in the daytime. They, they're nocturnal for the most part, so to, to come out to the zoo and see them moving around, you'd have to be here in the middle of the night when all the lights are off. They don't move a lot, uh, but they, they're really high on the cute factor. Right now, sloths are one of the most popular animals in the zoo world. Everybody wants one, and uh, so we, we started looking a while ago and found one uh, through a committee that handles animal distribution within the zoo world, and they, they found us one, but we had to go to Canada to get him. We uh, acquired him from a, a zoo up in Quebec, uh, Canada. Today's his first official day uh, for public viewing. He arrived about five, six weeks ago, went through quarantine. Uh, and we, when the only thing you eat uh, is, is leaves, you know, it's, it would be like if we, all we ate was lettuce all the time. There's not very many calories in it. So if you're eating something that doesn't put out a lot of energy, you got to eat a whole lot of it and keep churning it through like elephants do, or you become a sloth. He'll be on exhibit uh, for a long, long time. He's three years old. He can live to be 15 or 20. Uh, you know, an animal, pretty low stress level. So uh, he'll just be here hanging out. And then hopefully, you know, kids will go home They'll get on the internet and actually do some studying, maybe learn more about animals and learn about the rainforest and all the things that go with uh, that natural habitat. So that's our ultimate goal is to show kids animals and uh, then have them uh, develop a curiosity and go home and learn a little more. <laughs>